Hi mga kanayan, this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip Nayan. So for today's topic, we will talk about the lattice method. So pag sinabi natin lattice method, no, ito ay shorthand in multiplying the polynomial. So shorthand process siya, pag ito kunyari, meron may, may, may tayong polynomials na to, x squared plus 8x plus so then x minus 3 equals 0. So hanapin natin yung polynomial equation, pero using the lattice method. So, in multiplying this polynomial using lattice method, hahanapin natin, kukunin natin yung ating mga coefficient, no? yung mga number coefficient niya. So, dito ay 1, 8, and 2. So, isusulat natin sa taas na 1, 8, and 2. And then naman, dito naman, no? ito ay 1, saka negative 3. So, ilalagay natin dito 1, and negative 3. So, ipag multiply lang natin sila. So, maglalagay tayo ng parang half box na nakalagay dyan, no? So, i-multiply natin, no? 1 times 1 is 1. Ito naman is 8. Ito naman ay 2. Ngayon naman, negative 3. Ito naman is negative 24. Then, ito naman is negative 6. So, a-add natin, after natin ma-multiply, no? I-add natin pa-diagonal. So, ito, no? Leave mo yung bilog, bilog yan. So, ito yung i-add natin. So, yan. So, ibig sabihin, no? Ang una is 1. Then, i-add natin to. Tsaka to. No? Tapos ito, yan. May bilog yan sa dulo. Ha? Kailangan din natin mga yan. So, add natin to diagonal. This is positive 5. So, kumuha na natin yung 1. No? Then, positive 5. Ito naman is negative 22 at negative 6. So, ibig sabihin, no, ito yung ating magiging coefficients ng, ng ating polynomial. Sa anong degree? Kung ito ay meron ditong 1 dito, tapos meron naman ay dalawa. So, ibig sabihin, pagpalasin natin, nasa third degree polynomial siya. So, ibig sabihin, magisimula tayo sa third degree. So, yung 1, so 1 x cubed, then 5 plus 5 x squared minus 22 x raised to 1, so 3, 2, 1. Ito naman, minus 6 equals sa 0. No, yung 6 ay constant term na. So, kung lilinisin natin yan, no, ang ating polynomial equation ngayon ay x cubed, then plus 5 x squared minus 22x minus 6 equals sa 0. So, ito yung ating polynomial equation using the lattice method. So, example number 2. The real roots are negative 5, 4, and 2. So, we're going to find the polynomial equation pero binigay niya yung roots natin no so itong tatlong na itong tatlong roots ibig sabihin kung tatlong roots na to ang degree ng polynomial natin is in a third degree so ngayon i-reverse natin yung process ng zero product property kung hindi niyo pa nababanan yung aking video about the zero product property pindutin niyo to no lalabas so gagawin natin kung ang x is negative 5 then x is equals 4, then real roots na, x equals to 2. So, i-reverse process natin. So, ibig sabihin, ang linear factor, kung sinabi natin, linear factor ng polynomial na yun is x plus 5, no? Zero product property, then x minus 4, then x minus 2 sa ating linear factor. So, ang, ang mangyayari dyan, no? Using the lattice method, i-multiply natin, no? Ito muna ang dalawa. So, itong x plus 5, then x minus 4. Pwede mo rin i-polynomial, ah, uh, i-foil method, pero gagamitin natin is the lattice method. So, ang una, ang ating una yung i-multiply, no? Itong x plus 5, then x minus 4. So, using the lattice method. So, ang gagawin natin, no? Punin natin yung ating numerical coefficient, which is dito ay 1, and 5. Ito naman, dito is 1 and negative 4. So, i-multiply natin yan. 
So, kung multiply natin to 1, 5, 1 times 5 is 5, no? Ito naman, negative 4, then negative 20. So, ngayon, no, using lattice method nga, so, kukunin natin itong 1, ito naman, i-add natin to no? I-add natin to ito positive 1, ito naman is negative 20. So, ibig sabihin, no, ang polynomial natin, itong dalawa na to no, ang polynomial natin is x squared, so, 1, x squared plus 1x then minus 20. Hindi pa tayo tapos dyan, no? Mumultiply pa natin to kasama yung x minus 2. So, pag ginawa natin yan, no? So, ang gagawin natin, ah, kukopyain uli natin yung ating mga coefficients which is 1, 1, and negative 20. No, yun naman is 1 and negative 2. Lattice method. So, 1 times 1 is negative 20. Ngayon naman, sa baba, negative 2. Then, negative 2 again. And then, positive 40. Because negative 2 times negative 20 is positive 40. So, tanggalin natin yan. So, 1. Ito naman is 1 ulit. No? Negative 1. Kasi negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Then, ito is negative 22. No? Ito ay positive 40. So, ngayon, no? Ang ating nasa third degree tayo, kasi 3 yung roots natin, no? Nasa third degree tayo. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung magiging coefficient ng x cubed. So, ang magiging sagot natin, no? So, dito natin lalagay. So, 1 x cubed minus 1 x squared minus 22 x plus 4 0 equal sa 0. So, ibig sabihin, no, kahit wala na natin, hindi na natin ilalagay yung ating mga 1. So, ngayon, no, ang ating talagang polynomial equation is x cubed minus x squared minus 22x plus 40 equal sa 0. 0 yan. For example, number 3, the real roots are 2, 7, and negative 1. So, again, hahanapin natin yung ating linear factor. So, reverse process ng zero product property. So, ito ay magiging x equals to 2, then x equals to 7, and x equals to negative 1. So, the linear factor will be the x minus 2, x minus 7, and x plus 1. So, ngayon, gamit tayo ng ulit ng lattice method. So, ito ang ating uunahin. No? Pwede naman pwede itong unahin natin o kaya ito. No? Ito'y bahala. No? Pero, yung process ang ating kailangang malaman. So, 1 and negative 2. Ito naman is 1 and negative 7. So, 1, negative 2, then negative 7, no? And negative, a uh, positive 14. Okay, no? So, ito ay negative 7. So, ang gagawin natin, no? Yan. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 1, then negative 9, no? And positive 14. So, kakailanganin natin itong 1, negative 9, and positive 14 para sa 1 and positive 14. 1. So, yan. No? So, 1. Ito ay negative 9. Ito ay positive 14. Ganun din, no? 1, negative 9, positive 14. So, mangyari, no? That is. So, 1, then negative 9. Ito. 1, tapos ito ay ne negative 8, sorry. No? Negative 8. Ito naman is positive 6, uh, 5, and then ito ay 14, no? So, yan yung ating, ito yung ating kailangan, no? Para makabuo ng ating polynomial equation. So, ngayon, no? Kailangan natin yan para dito sa ating um, third degree, ang ating polynomial. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 x cubed 
minus 8x squared plus 5x plus 14 equals 0. So, ibig sabihin, no, ang ating polynomial equation is x cubed minus 8x squared plus 5x equals 14 equals sa, ah, sorry, 5x plus 14 equals sa 0. So, that's all, no? So, sana may natutunan kayo. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Pakipindot po yung ating notification bell, no? Paano man lagi kang update sa mga videos ko. So, that's all. Good luck, soldier!